This vlog will probably be over a couple of days. Um, I'm just about to go to the airport and pick up Katie and the kids because they're in the air now, flying back from Ireland. So they should be back with me in about an hour, which is really cool, really looking forward to that. Just been cleaning the house very, very quickly. Had a morning full of teaching as well. And I don't want to spend the rest of the day building a vlog and editing. I'm sure you understand, I want to see my family. But tomorrow I will kind of add to this vlog and I kind of have no idea what I'm going to talk about, so it's quite interesting. The title will obviously lead you into what I'm going to talk about. Um, but yeah, let's get to the airport. So I have my idea. My two principal vlogging cameras are this one, my Canon 60D, and this one, my iPhone. Now, the reason why <coughs> I use the iPhone a lot is it's convenience. It's the camera in your pocket. It's the one you're always, I'm always, I always, nine times out of 10 have with me. It's convenient to pull out, film something with. It's convenient in the car, it sits in the cradle, doesn't do any, you know, doesn't cause any problems, don't have to handle it. But the forward facing camera on the iPhone is not as good as the rear facing camera. So that's kind of an issue. So what I wanted to do today was to review the 8man. This one, which is kind of a GoPro copy. And what I thought I'd do is I'd be able to do some compare and contrasts between um, the iPhone and the GoPro, well, the 8man, the GoPro copy, and the uh, DSLR. Now, I have used the 8man a bit already in this footage. But I thought it'd be nice to try and do a little bit of compare and contrast in kind of normal vlogging situations, i.e. not in controlled circumstances as it were. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set up the dash cam on the phone and then on the uh, eight man and we can kind of see which one does which as I head to the airport. DSLR, eight man, iPhone. I'm gonna do some gardening. Mm -hmm. 
So that concludes my little video test. Now, it's not meant to be a total comprehensive review. I'm not a tech reviewer. It's not a tech review vlog. This is just kind of what... Mm, let's zoom out a little bit and move my head. It's kind of how I use my gear, and the idea is, is that that will hopefully help you because I'm not kind of doing the weird geeky stuff. Maybe not weird geeky is not the right word. You know what I mean? I'm not doing the geeky stuff. I'm using the things. It's like I said on my Logic versus Pro Tools idea and loads of other stuff, even mouthpieces. What interests me is how I can use the tool to do my work. One of the things that's interesting about this rig, the Canon rig, is it's really noticeable when you're out in public in that people really notice it. So like today when I was at the airport doing that, when you saw that time lapse and the kids arrived and Katie, people who were stood near me in the um, arrivals lounge were like, oh, that looks very professional. Or, and people walking through with kind of little sly eye looking at it. It's really noticeable. When you've got something like this, people barely notice it. When you've got an iPhone in your hand, people are so used to seeing it, they don't even give it a second glance. So this kind of, this rig is, is quite obtrusive. Um, it definitely, for me, gives the best picture and audio quality. Um, so I will tend to use it more in the studio, with the studio lights, etc. Um, but for kind of easy use of vlogging camera, yeah, it's also, you know, quite an expensive piece of kit. So I'm not kind of uh, in the realms of some of the vloggers who can earn thousands of pounds off their videos. So I can't afford to go through several cameras a year or even some people a month. So this kind of has added attraction in the fact that it's pretty bulletproof. You know, it's, yeah, it's a pretty good camera. I, I haven't seen the edit yet. I don't know how the three are going to compare. Um, but it's just, the video is done as a way of showing you. So please, before you hit that dislike button, just remember what I've just said. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode, please check out some others and please subscribe. If you already do, you know how much I love you. It really makes a difference how many subscribers I get in terms of opening things up with YouTube. So thank you very much if you already subscribe. If you do enjoy the vlogs, and I really love getting emails from people all around the world who have asked me about different things on the vlogs. What I've loved in the last year of really using YouTube as a social channel is it's the sociability of it is the people i have met and it both in person and online um through the vlog it's been such an amazing experience so thank you very much please spread the word and as i leave you please hit the saxophone if you don't already subscribe and check out the two videos that are coming up now